Hi, my name is Scott for TubeTape.com. This is what we'll be creating today, a little hologram on the iPhone. It'll pop up there. Maybe this will come out in a future release or or maybe not. All depends, really. All right, so the first thing to do is jump into After Effects. Let's go ahead and import our phone footage. Let's drop that right on top of the New Composition button. What we're going to need to do is to track the corner of this phone, but we have a finger swipe in there, we have the, the camera tilt, so let's wait until after those things have happened before we add our tracker. Let's bring up our tracking window, let's go to Window Tracker, and we also need a Null Object, so go to Layer, New, Null Object, boom, there we go. Alright, so once our phone is in position, uh, there looks about good, we're going to go select our phone footage. We're going to go to track motion. That'll bring up our tracker point. We can grab him. We just move him up to the corner. We need an area of high contrast. There, looks pretty good. Go ahead and line him up. And we're going to go to this button and go analyze forward. And this will track that spot on the phone. All right, once we have that track, we can click stop. Make sure our motion target is our null. And then we can click apply. And last for the dimensions, we want both X and Y. And now you can see that null object is sort of stuck up there at the top of the phone. All right, let's bring in our actor. I'm going to drop him right on top of the phone. Let's scale him down a little bit. Handsome looking guy, isn't he? Bring him right up there. Now when we scrub through this, you'll see that the phone moves, but the actor does not. And to fix that, it's pretty easy. We just need to parent the actor to the null object. Let's grab this pick whip and click right there. Now the phone and the actor will move in the same space. All right, cool. Next, let's add a, let's have a little fun and add a nice glow to them. So effect, stylize glow. And I like to choose a nice science fiction kind of green yellow. Grab that. Let's change our glow base from color channels to alpha. Let's change our radius, crank that way up. To get that to go on the outside instead of the inside, we're going to go to our composite mode and go from behind to on top of. There you go. That's looking pretty good. What I don't like though, let's line this up with the beginning of the tracking data. What I don't like is how he just sort of pops into, into, into being. So to fix that, let's add a nice transition. Go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. I'm going to change this from 90 to 180 to make it go to top to bottom instead of left to right. I'm going to choose a keyframe right about here for transition completion. Go back a few seconds and crank that down, or crank that up, I should say, to 100. Let's feather it out just a touch, too. Now, instead of just popping into existence, it sort of has that nice Star trek -y animation on. There we go. Now, in the future, I don't know about you, but I'll have the cheapest cell phone plan, so I'm going to need to put in some interference. And to do that, we're going to use some fractal noise, and we need a new solid to do that. Let's go to Layer new solid. I like to choose these really horrendous colors for my solids. There we go. And We're going to go over here. We're going to type in fractal noise and just drop that right on top. We need to change a few settings in here. Let's change the fractal type from basic to turbulent smooth. Our noise type to a block. Uh, let's crank that contrast way up like in the 550 range. And let's crank up that complexity too. All right, good. Now you'll notice that the fractal is not moving. And to really sell this effect, we need it to animate a little bit. So we'll go down here to our evolution. We're going to set a keyframe, go to the end. Let's change that to something like, oh, I don't know, 20 or so, just to give it some life. There we go. Now, to make this composite correctly with the actor, we're going to use a luma mat. And we're going to change this by making all the white areas see-through and all the black areas will become opaque. In order to do that we need to drag this right on top of our actor. We need to change our track mat from none on the actor to luma mat red solid. 
And now you can see these little bits of interference popping in wherever there's a black spot in that fractal. Well, there you go. There's a million different things you can do with this. I hope you like the tutorial. And if you're a judge, please, I really need the lights. So first or second, if you don't mind. My name's Scott. Have a great day.